Um, okay, so for those who don't know me uh, yet, I'm, I work um, at the CA in a laboratory in the south of uh, Paris, and uh, I'm in the team of uh, Mactor. So today my subject is quite different to the previous uh, talk, and I'm going to talk about the performances of uh, Abinit for system with many atoms. The presentation is divided uh, in two parts. At first, I will present a small uh, benchmarking, and then I will show uh, the impact of uh, non-local operations on uh, computation on big system. And this study led us to think about a new uh, version of the con conjugate gradient algorithm. Uh, and this uh, new version gives promising results. OK, so let's start with uh, the first part. Um, so. Abinit performances depends on many, many uh, factors, as any other code, actually. Um, so first, um, it depends on the self-consistent field method you use in order to compute the new uh, density or the new potential. Uh, then it depends on the diagonalization algorithm you use to compute the wave function from the uh, Hamiltonian. Uh, then it also depends on the parallelization scheme, how many MPI processes do I use, how many uh, threads, how do I distribute the data, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then it depends also on the libraries used for uh, the FFT, for example, or the uh, linear algebra work. And sometimes also it depends on compilation options. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the best choice uh, depends on both the system you're working on and the computer architecture uh, you use. So, uh, and that uh, brings another difficulty as uh, architectures evolve with time. So, uh, the only solution to understand all this effect is to measure performances uh, intensively and regularly. So uh, in the next time, I'm going to show uh, very few results uh, in which we will compare LOBPCG and uh, Chibiche filtering uh, algorithms with different parallelization scheme only. OK, uh, so the system under study is a set of 255 atoms of titanium with more than 2,000 bands. The computation is done at gamma only. And we use a rather low uh, cutoff energy. Uh, the architecture, uh, the computation has been done in um, on uh, Intel Skylight processors with a total of uh, 256 cores. Um, so the results are presented in this uh, tabular here. Uh, on the right hand side, here there is a memory usage, and on that uh, column, it is the time spent in one self consistent iteration. And it has been observed that this time is rather constant after the third uh, self consistent iteration. So we see that for uh, LOBPCG, uh, uh, increasing the number of threads used with a, a total of cores. Uh, uh, used uh, constant, so we reduce uh, the number of MPI processes at the same time, uh, we get uh, better uh, performances. Um, and also, uh, for uh, using the Chebyshev uh, filtering algorithm, we obtain uh, interesting results too. So this uh, algorithm should be more considered in, uh, in the future. Um, of course, uh, I show here only a part of the study that has been done because I don't have so much time. And also more investigation is needed. Um, as uh, So for example, it, it, I, I, it would be interesting to see the result for another system uh, and actually a variety of system. So I plan to use uh, the uh, HPC test, uh, which is a work started by uh, Marc and uh, Jean-Michel. Um, which includes around uh, six or seven uh, tests uh, already, but it uh, also, uh, as mentioned in the discussion uh, yesterday um, afternoon, uh, it will be also very nice to have a standard way to measure performances, at least uh, for Abinit. For us, it would be uh, interesting. So that's also a long-term view on, on that uh, matter. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to 
talk about the impact of non-local operations on uh, computation with big systems. So here the system is again with many atoms, with uh, which is 144 atoms of SiO2. I use uh, 46 band, uh, 460 bands. Computation is done at gamma only, and the, we have uh, 23,000 uh, uh, plane wave as a basis set. Uh, we use a PAW potential with eight projectors uh, per uh, atom. Um, here, the parameters of the ground state computation are uh, a bit unusual, but it's just in order to make the, uh, uh, the analysis uh, simpler. And uh, I do only a sequential run, so I use only one core. So with uh, time up equal to minus one in the uh, abinit input, I get uh, a profiling of uh, the run, and we can see that. Uh, so the run uh, took uh, around 2,500 seconds, and a bit more than uh, half of that time uh, has been spent on the part of the code, which is called uh, non-lop apply. And this, uh, this part of the code actually um, uh, is related to the non-local uh, operation. So what are the non-local operation? There are um, uh, two operators, which is uh, uh, non-local. So the non-local part of the Hamiltonian, of course, and also the overlap uh, operator. They, they have a very similar structure. So at first, uh, the first thing to do to, in order to compute this, uh, the application of such operator on an input uh, wave function, is to compute the scalar product of uh, the input wave function with the pro uh, atomic projector. And these coefficients are called C proj coefficients. And this is done in a routine called uh, upper, upper NLA. Then these C proj coefficients are multiplied uh, to some uh, scalars depending on the operator we applying. And we sum also. Uh, over the J index here. And this is done by a routine called operandel C. At last, the remaining uh, work to do is to multiply this product to the um, uh, plane wave coefficients of the projectors uh, themselves and to sum, uh, to sum uh, all the contribution from all atoms and all uh, projectors. And this uh, last part of the work is done by a routine called OpenNL B. And looking at the scaling of this different operation, we see that only OpenNL A and OpenNL B uh, have a scaling which contains the number of plane waves. Uh, with OpenNL C, uh, there's no plane wave. So actually, the time spent in that routine is completely negligible to, uh, with respect to the other. So the, uh, the time spent in a non-lop uh, routine to compute non-local operation is just the sum of OpenNL A and OpenNL B. Okay, also a uh, nice thing to notice is uh, due to these uh, scalings, uh, we see that actually the time uh, spent in non-lop uh, routines is very uh, is much much bigger than the time spent in FFT, and as, if I go back to the profiling on my test case, we see that uh, the FFTs are done here by, uh, in this routine for uh, WF pot and for WF den, and in total we spend like uh, around one hundred seconds compared to more than one thousand for non-local operations. So uh, if we uh, then, with that uh, little analysis, it's clear that if we want to increase the performances of uh, Abinit for a big system, uh, we have two possibilities. Either we improve the uh, um, efficiency in the routines OpenNL A or OpenNL B, or uh, either we, or we, uh, we, we can try to reduce the number of calls needed of these routines to uh, do our computations. 
And actually, uh, this uh, second option uh, has been considered and is possible. So how, how so? Um, so more than 95% uh, of the computational time is spent on, in the diagonalization part of the Hamiltonian. At this stage, the density and the Hamiltonian uh, are fixed, and we want to compute new psi. In the conjugate gradient algorithm, uh, one needs to compute uh, all these uh, scalars and one uh, vector for one bond uh, to compute a new bond uh, psi. Uh, all these uh, scalars and uh, this vector contain all the needed non-local operation for the uh, algorithm. In the official version of uh, Abinit, uh, the c proche coefficient computed by OpenNL A are, computed, are always computed on the fly and not kept in memory. Uh, without going too much into details, uh, this leads that in PLW, one need to, uh, needs to compute S psi in addition to H psi. So we need to compute two vectors. So this needs uh, two OpenNL B operations. So in the end, if I have n line uh, con uh, uh, conjugate gradient steps uh, in, uh, in the algorithm, at the end, I have uh, performed n line plus one open LA, again, without uh, going too much into details, and two n line plus two open LB operation per burn and per SCF iteration. So as I said, we work on uh, a new uh, version in which this time the C proj coefficients are kept in memory. And uh, so naively we could say we, um, we save open LA uh, operations, but actually in the end we will uh, have say, uh, we'll have saved uh, open LB operations. So as you can see, uh, we so we uh, now in the new version we we have n line open L A operation and only n line open L B operation per uh, SCF step instead of two n line plus two. So the the, the, the uh, most important gain is uh, here. Uh, uh, Obviously, this comes uh, at uh, as a cost of uh, uh, implementation work, and sometimes we have, in order to save some uh, open LA operation, we have to propagate propagate in some way the C proj coefficients. Uh, so, for example, if I compute at some point in the algorithm a new wave function from a linear combination of other wave function, if, if we imagine I have already in memory the C proj coefficients uh, related to this wave function, then as it is a linear uh, operation, I can compute the uh, C-proj coefficient of that uh, wave function just by a, a linear uh, uh, operation, not uh, without calling uh, OpenNL A. So this uh, is important to save a lot of computational work. Okay, and as a result uh, on the system I show, uh, we obtain here only 1,500 seconds for the total computational time. So in the end, we have said uh, around 1,000 seconds, and which is around 40% uh, of the computer, uh, original computer, computational time. So uh, this uh, is very, very promising. Uh, this uh, new version works for a real wave function, polarized or magnetic system, and also with a spin orbit coupling. Uh, but uh, only the MPI polarization on game points work. Uh, there's no parallel KGB yet. And I'm working also on uh, some uh, open NP polarization in some part of the code. Uh, okay. Uh, However, um, uh, almost all uh, tests of the uh, Abinid farm test pass, but it's not merged uh, yet in the official uh, version. I'm working on that. Uh, this version cannot be used for non conservative pseudo, but actually, I don't think it's very important but I don't, because I don't think uh, the non conserving uh, version would be uh, more efficient than the original one. 
And it's not available uh, yet for uh, Fox Exchange, Bay Phase, Formalism, and uh, Nuclear Dipole Moment. Uh, even if for this uh, part, I think the amount of words is not so big, but uh, I'm lacking of uh, expertise on that field. Okay, so let me conclude. Um, okay, we have seen that on one system, uh, LOBPCG uh, have better performances when increasing the number of threads. Uh, the Chibichev uh, filtering algorithm uh, seems very uh, interesting too. And, uh, but we, uh, uh, in order to have more convincing result, it needs intensive testing. And, uh, and also it would be nice to have a standard set uh, of uh, test, uh, test cases to measure the performances. Okay. And in uh, the second part, uh, non-local operation uh, are the most time-consuming time part of the computation. The, the new uh, separation memory implementation gives an uh, interesting result. And obviously, it would be very uh, interesting to extend this result to other algorithms as, as LOBPCG, GBHF, and also uh, for the PAL KGB framework. Thank you for the, your attention. Thank you, Luca. Um, I don't see that there are questions in the in the chat, but the, may I ask you a question? Yes. So uh, I, I'm I'm not really familiar with PAW yes. and uh, not really too with with having it, but uh, um, when you say that you store in the memory, so you are showing that it's more efficient because it's in the memory. So it's in the RAM, or you you write it somewhere? No, no. I, I, um... No, I write uh, the C++ coefficients in uh, yes in RAM in RAM. We keep in it RAM, so you are not uh, afraid that this will. Uh, uh, so why did you choose the strategy of keeping in in memory uh, all this uh, information instead of I don't know use OpenMP? Because you are not afraid that uh, for the systems you, you might have uh, a, a use of the RAM so big. When you think at the computers now, the high performance computing have not that much RAM. Yes. And the IO is very slow. So in reality, usually the strategy that are chosen is the one of uh, broadcasting. So using MPI and OpenMP to do this kind of, uh, so it's uh, preferable to do more operations than to write data or to keep in memory data. So now here, uh, so first first point, the C push coefficients are not uh, is not a big big array. It's much smaller than the wave function array, for example. So and actually, this uh, new version, uh, as I don't need to store in RAM memory these two vectors, uh, only one instead of two before, use less RAM memory. So keeping some coefficients which is not a so uh, big array. Uh, I think on one test, ca test case, for example, the wave function is like 200 megabytes and this C push coefficient is only eight. So it's, it's, not, it's almost nothing. And uh, keeping this uh, coefficient in memory, I can in some way uh, save some, uh, a lot actually of uh, computational work uh, rewriting the algorithm, and so, and even in the end, I don't have to store uh, uh, um, anymore two uh, arrays in, uh, instead of one. So I also save some memory in the end. It's not, of course, I don't have so much time to uh, go into deep details, but it's it's like uh, you 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 really have to compare the. Uh, the two uh, algorithms, and in the end, just counting the uh, number of operations that you do, you see that you will uh, save uh, time, obviously, and also memory. Okay, thank you. So the cost in memory was not that uh, much, uh, so basically, so by no, changing the algorithm. Okay, so I think that there is Nicola that is asking how much additional memory does this uh, CPJ in M memory add to the total memory usage for large system? Yes, because indeed you show an example which is quite small. Um, I'll just say you you kind of answered this already because it seems to be a very small actual footprint. Sorry? The overall memory. It seems to be a very small footprint. 
yes, yes. No, but the suffrage coefficient themselves is a very small footprint. And also, uh, again, I actually, I save some memory. The new version yeah. used less memory than before. Because before, we, we have to store two uh, arrays of uh, wave function, uh, as, uh, which have the same size as the wave function. Uh, and now we, we, we don't have to store them uh, anymore. So I said, actually, in, in the end, uh, even the memory is reduced by, and, uh, by a factor of 40% or something like that. 